Alright. Here's the plan today. Look at that. Everything's fired up. Our battery's at 12 2. Let's turn the inverter on. We're inverting. It's a good sign. So after all that welding, looks like disconnecting the batteries was a good idea. So the dash is installed. Uh, it's not completely uh, put together because I never know what I'm going to need to take out apart when I'm doing the overhead cabinets right here. The floor has been repaired. There's nothing wrong with the seat. I just now have to do the uh, the cabinetry up front, or I guess we do. So overall, I think we're looking really good. I've seen worse on non-rebuilt coaches. That window will be replaced, the window in the door will be replaced, and of course, this window will be replaced. The last big job to do is going to be this cabinet right here, which obviously is a big job too. We got a job this big, uh, ordering everything we needed to order right here, including the cabinetry, uh, the parts for the generator slide. This definitely would have been a very difficult job to do ordering all the parts from the factory. Now the factory would have had all of them or been able to make them because it's that new. But with shipping uh, and time wasting, waiting for all these parts, nah, there's no way it would have done this job very well, put it that way. We managed to get the entire front cap. We had them cut down the entire front of that motorhome all the way through that window through the floor and through the entry door, which included the dash, obviously the windshield and the overhead cabinetry. So that made this job substantially easier. Now, obviously that was not a cheap purchase, but it was very, very lucky because in having all the parts on hand, it was easier to put this thing, whole, whole thing back together. This is, the back of the uh, front cabinet. We'll go around to the inside and you can see the TV was definitely overheated and it got a lot of smoke damage on it. Cabinetry can be rebuilt. Uh, this one looks pretty bad but it's not as bad as you think it is. That's why it's solid wood furniture is a nice thing to have and this has solid wood cabinetry in it. But enough about that. I hope that makes some sense to people. All right, so uh, this will become something nice, I swear it, but I'm not gonna show it all. We'll just do... Just like that, we got a brand new one using two cabinets and it's uh, looking pretty good. So that one's ready to go. We just have to hit it with some lacquer. That one's done. And uh, the other one's already inside. So two cabinets became one. Two hearts beat as one. That's what they say. That's got to be true. Right. It wouldn't make a song. It wouldn't rhyme if it wasn't true. Wait, it didn't rhyme. Oh, look at that. It's going to go up here shortly. It's going to work. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Can you see anything? I got a cabinet up there now. Got a long ways to go, though. That one's probably going to be built next, along with the other one. Now, I may not have covered it. I know I didn't during the uh, the ceiling rebuild when we had to replace that frame inside right there. We actually added uh, framing all the way along this seam. Before, it was just uh, basically a snap-in track right here. And there's a plastic track that just uh, accepts that. Let me see if I have that back there. There's that. There's just a plastic snap track that this would snap into to uh, to be the seam right there. Now, 
there's no strength to that that plastic on the other side was just glued down and because that ceiling had gotten damaged a little bit I didn't want to just go with that out option so when we rebuilt the ceiling we added the frame behind there and screwed into there what we're gonna do is uh, manufacture a piece of uh, cherry wood trim take it all the way across should dress it up quite a bit and give a lot more strength to the ceiling anyways so I feel better about that uh, Winnipeg actually a lot of uh, dealer or manufacturers do that in that front area right there to have a little bit of a uh, to hide structure and then also it makes it look better so all these screws that are in there those are all going to come out same with all the screws that are in the side wall right here those are just clamps i don't want to cut this out until i got the window for sure because i don't want to cut it wrong and have to start all over again and uh, i know these wires are sticking out that's just because i haven't put the the other base back on so there's the bottom of the cabinet here but then there's another bottom that's going to span from the windshield over to there and that all gets screwed together i just need to mock up the tv that the new tv that's installed to make sure that that was going to work so that tv will have to come back out again so we can get behind there to screw down but other than that this is really turning into a beautiful motorhome right i don't normally get to work on anything this new now although it sounds horrible to say the next step is going to be this right here which uh is the underside of the TV cabinet right there. Obviously, I can't use that fabric, and those shades right there have been a little damaged. Not completely damaged, but a little bit. But the hardware and the motors are working. If we come inside, the fabrics on these are good but the hardware has been destroyed so I think I can do a sloppy sloppy and use the the brackets and the tubes well the brackets and the hardware from the uh, salvaged one and the fabrics and the tubes from the good ones because these are spindy little guys right here like incredibly spindy so if we look at the other one here's the uh, bracket for that one you can see uh, it might have got hammered a little bit. I don't know if you can see back there how twisted it is. And rather than trying to fix that, let's just go ahead and swap this out. Because the smoke didn't damage these. So that's my next step. So that's been separated now. I definitely want this. I'll have to clean that up a little bit. And uh, then I'll see what I can salvage from the other ones. Alright, with that disconnected. You now these, I don't know if these are automotion shades, I would guess. They don't look like uh, MCD shades. So these have a spring in them too, a cis spring. So let's take a look at those. And on this side is going to be the tubular motor. And that should just come out too. Now these are good as gold, so never throw those away if they're good. Because for some odd reason, might surprise you guys, these like to go bad too. These ones you have to program, so you have adjustment up and down stops on them. Let me uh, get this rinsed off and get these out of the way. Right, that should be a lot cleaner now. You don't eat off of it, right? Now I think before I, uh, now I think before I uh, invest any time in these motors, I'm going to see if they work. So I did cut off the harness from the other harness I'm not using. Go ahead and test these motors out real fast. So these are just 12 volt motors. One one way polarity. 
makes them turn one way, the other way makes them turn the other way. Very high tech. And so all I'm doing is hooking up wires to my battery here. Well, it looks like it works to me, so let me try this motor. Try the same thing on this one. That one works. That one works. So that's good. And I can see uh, these springs are still good. So if the only thing that's really bad on these is obviously the fabrics. Now this one's probably not that bad. I could probably clean it up. So worst case scenario, but that one's definitely that one's definitely bad. So these are the original ones and this spring's broken. That spring is still there. Uh, this motor might be bad. But I think we can salvage this. I think we can make this all work. It's a good plan. Good plan, good plan. Now, of course, this isn't a, uh, a shade uh, how-to video. Uh, this is a rebuilding this sort of a vlog. So these are automotion shades. They uh, did etch it on here. Where is it? Right there. They actually have a, a PDF you can download to show you how to rebuild these things. Uh, that spring's going to take 14 turns. Uh, and remember, it's trying to help it wind up, so don't go the wrong direction. But other than that, I'll get this put together. And then uh, I can start working on uh, that guy. Like that, this thing should be rebuilt now. Now I can set this out of the way while I work on that. On, on that. On that. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day. You know, it sure looks like uh, one of those drop ceiling lights. I wonder if you could hack a TV to do that. Oh, it's not barely a little damage on it. Yeah, right.